All right, so with only a few days left until the JP 4th anniversary drops on Global, I thought we would just relax a little bit with some regular PvP. We're gonna do the normal PvP with a Philo team and sort of see if Philo still has it. Is she still good? She might not have the one-shot potential that she used to, because units have so much more HP. The unknown teams have so much more uh, basic stat increase, so does the demon teams. And it's just a crazy, crazy time right now. She used to be able to like one shot any single team in the game. We might have to cook for a bit now though. So either I can just test out the damage potential here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna take the melee, you know, true magic buff attack. That's gonna be fine, whatever. But we'll just see, because we are attacking with green units against two blue units here. All right, that's not bad. That's honestly not bad, and these two units can't heal now. Melee can, of course, but we do have a stun for him. I am not too worried about this match, honestly, but it did feel like a bot anyway. But even if it was a player, if that's the sort of damage I can deal turn one, maybe I can cook. But unfortunately, Philo just straight up died there. <laughs> Oh man, she's not what she used to be, and she hasn't been what she used to be ever since like Eskinor came out, the one ultimate. Because he basically destroyed every single old meta that we used to have. Yeah, what we're left with is... is whatever. Now, unfortunately, if I kill anyone here, Melly's gonna get his ult. <laughs> what a first match, and he's 6 6, oh my god. <laughs> of course he is. Um, so let's just get Echidna her ult, I guess. Dude, that's gonna kill. Look at Esther Rosa, he's just gonna die. I should have killed the Zelders as well. He's stunned though. And Melly's gonna get his ult. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, of course. Of course it happens. <laughs> but it's a first match. Let's just lose here. It doesn't matter. We're gonna make Fido shine. I'm, I'm in, I have like no worries at all. Goddamn bots and their lucky card draws. <laughs> I swear to god. <laughs> All right, so this is a mild team with Red Tarmel in the front, so we cannot rush our ults. We did get a nice silver merger here. We could potentially quite easily kill that. Do the Margaret here, he won't be able to cleanse, so he will have taken a lot of damage. He won't be able to heal back anything, and he can't cleanse, so maybe I should do the Merlin attack first, just so I can ensure that he always won't be able to heal back. Oh my god, yeah. She just cut them like butter. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> As he can't even do anything. <laughs> like, this is their comeback to this. Like, if you get a nice Philo merger and, like, an old team that I used to do... Oh, all right. Let's just bow. All right. <laughs> but, like, a nice Philo team that I used to do used to have, like, a green gopher there. So I could potentially merge into a gold card yeah, by either ranking up twice or, like, the silver card merger or whatever. So this team might not have, like, the one-turn uh, kill potential, but it most definitely does have, like, the one-turn fear potential. I'm putting so much fear into the enemy team. Now, of course, if Ludemarget dies this time, he is gonna be the one who gets revived. By the Liz passive. Because she's on the left-hand side, there's no way I kill Mal with a bronze card. Liz will die from this, though. Yeah, so both of them died. Now he can cleanse, and he can potentially heal back with Mal. I will need to get another Infect card. Hopefully we can get that. All right, that's good. We did get one, and I can actually get her ultimate, so... Her ultimate is quite nice. I do believe I have her 4-6. Uh, though the ult effect, like the 4-6 only affects the damage she deals. Uh, I think he, either basic stat or attack increase or whatever she does with her ultimate. I forgot what it actually was. I haven't used it for so long. Or actually used her ult for so long. Yeah, and this is why I use Nanashi in the back. Oh my god, let's go. <laughs> what was it Echidna's ult does again? Oh, it's the same dude. So we're gonna do the exact same thing, but what was it her ult does again? Um, was it basic stats? Ah, oh, come on. I was just about to see it. Oh yeah, it's both basic stats and damage dealt by 35%. Alright, that's kind of cool. Alright, but I'm in champs 1 now, and it is a Saturday, and I'm only facing bots. Now, this is a Sins team, the gopher there will die super, super quickly. 200k CZ, and we did get the silver merger. <laughs> Please be a player. Please, I beg you. Nah, that loaded way too fast. Oh no, that's a bot, but let's see the damage. Melee is dead here anyway. Look at that. Uh, look at the damage Gopher already takes. Oh my god, yeah. So I've been facing a bunch of bot matches since I went into Champs 1. It's been 6 or 7 so far. I started winning some of them, but then I sort of forced myself to lose one. Now that is an annoying team. I'll somehow have to damage them enough to where I can actually kill them. Uh, maybe... I don't even know what I should do. 
I have to like attack them enough to where so he needs to attack twice with melee there in order to be able to heal back you have another one of these cards i could i can't go for merlin ult i can go for her ult if i use it to attack the enemy he is gonna cleanse with uh Rodrin there which is a little bit unfortunate i might have to like rely on this card to deal as much damage to the melee as possible but he is going for like two melee cards here so he will be able to heal back he's gonna lose his ult gauge i think <laughs> oh my god, that was a sneeze. Well, now, will I be able to kill him? I'm gonna try to apply as many debuffs. Hold on. I think... Yeah, I think this might kill. Then I might as well just do this then. That, and then that. Because that is gonna kill the Fraudrin. Nah, there's no way. There's no way Fila does enough damage, because that's gonna, gonna cleanse. He, he's gonna get his Eskinor ult. And we are gonna be able to kill the melee, but... We're not going to be able to kill the Eskanor, unfortunately. Maybe if, if I, like, single target the Eskanor, but then he still would have had melee ult. All right, that's fine. He can go for whatever this play is, so. Ult me. I think Merlin might live, even without the Nanashi buffs. Unless he's 6-6. Six, six. Everyone lived. All right. <laughs> that's extremely surprising. Honestly, that's very, very surprising. Then he disabled himself. All right, so are we going to go for a Merlin ult here? I think we might be. So I'll just do this. I'll prevent him from being able to heal back. Oh, I should have used this card with Merlin instead. Because it would have done more damage. But at least I'm going to prevent him from getting his ult again or whatever. He might kill my Echidna there. And if he does, he's not going to deal a lot of extra damage with Eskinor. Because, of course, he's disabled. So he's not going to like deal the, the death damage with the finger poke. He can remove my ult here with, uh, with Merlin there. I think that's what he's going for, at least on one unit. Oh, he left. What? I still thought he could potentially win there. Like, if he just saves some Eskinor AoE cards to where Eskinor dies at, like, zero health, then he could potentially just one-shot me with that. But, all right. Well, I take that victory anyway. All right, it did load for quite some time. Oh, an unknown team. Let's go. 178k CC. He's probably running dodge food because he is running Merlin there, so he's gonna try to attack seal me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use this card first and this, and then we sort of see what damage we can deal. Probably not a lot of damage. Oh, he's not running dodge food. But this is a player. Like, the, um, the damage felt like a player. So the Merlin and Rimuru died. Of course, Ghislaine, being super, super tanky, won. Or survived, and we won. But, oh, I just have to find another player. Come on. <laughs> All right, please, can this be a player? I've faced so many bots. I've used up 22 PvP stamina. 23 with this match. Please be a player. 203k CC with Ludo. That is a bot. 100%. I'm willing to bet my global account that this is a bot. Yeah, and just to prove to you that it is a bot, let's just have a look. Yeah. No report button, so it is a bot. Alright, so we're in champs 2 again, so maybe I can actually find some players. 210k CC, this is probably a player. Now, the king there is probably gonna die quite easily. He has CC food, I bet. So, let's just go. This might be like a 6 million box CC account or whatever. Or maybe he just doesn't have these units super, super built out. Because, yeah, yeah, he has the Eskinor outfit. But I think this is king's base outfit, right? And that's Melly's base outfit. So, he might not have their outfits. But we're just gonna go like this. Because I'm pretty confident he doesn't have dodge food with 210k CC. And, like, no distinguishable outfits. Yeah, because the Eskinor one is the free hawk one. Oh, Melly survived with like one HP. <laughs> is he gonna win now? <laughs> Alright, so isn't that Nash in the back? Uh, I don't think there's no way he wins unless he gets like super lucky with Melly. So he's gonna go for some Eskinor attacks. He's gonna waste his attacks with Eskinor. Does he have a AoE silver card? Is that what that is? Whose silver card is that? Uh, I'm confused. I thought that was Eskinor's silver card. Is it Melis? Because he died with Eskinor. And... Ooh, is he gonna kill? Is he gonna kill? Oh, yeah, he did. All right. <laughs> no more Infect, uh, which is fine, I suppose. And I can remove an alt gauge and stun. So what I'll do is... I'm just gonna delete that silver card. Actually, we delete that silver card and then we stun the melee. That way he won't be able to make any sort of moves with his melee. And we are gonna delete one melee card as well. Oh, that was an Anashi silver card. I'm really not paying attention. Was the other one for Esken or was it for Anashi? I, I, honestly, I should be paying attention, but after quitting so many bot matches, I've uh, done 24. This is 24th match. So, yeah. <laughs> Do leave a like on the video, because I'm putting in, honestly, not super a lot of effort, but 
at least a lot of like pvp stamina just to get the pvp video out and if i didn't have that much pvp stamina if i wasn't like saving up that would have been a lot of gems so i think that deserves a like don't you so that is gonna be one buff i do want to kind of finish it off with a silver card here or at least her ult i think that is at least gonna kill the melee he's gonna cleanse the debuffs anyway uh, but this might actually kill the melee if it doesn't i'm i'm stupid but all right, it did. It just barely did. <laughs> I still think I might be a little bit stupid, but whatever. All right, that's the Philo video. She's still usable. She's not super great. She doesn't one-shot anymore, but she does kind of kill a lot of units. And if you have, like, a unit that has, like, Infect or whatever, you can put enough fear into the other player that they actually quit. And if you don't have super much CC with this team, go for something like Dodge Food. Try to survive turn one and then sort of deal that kind of damage, you know, so... Yeah. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for me. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a most wonderful rest of your day. And yeah, I guess i catch you in the next one. Bye.